unbelievable game several weeks ago between Clemson and Alabama. I don't know who you're for, but it was a great game. But think about it. Approximately 90, 100,000 people in the stands watching 22 players play a game on the field. So often I really think that's a great analogy, a comparison to how people who claim to know Jesus Christ, they're kind of like those 90,000 people in the stands watching a handful of people down here with a flurry of activity. Let me just say this. If you know Jesus Christ, He has called you and me to be those individuals who are His ambassadors, who are willing to allow Him to flow not only in us, but through us to deliver the message of Jesus Christ to a dying world. The scripture says in Mark 16, 15, Go into all the world, Jesus said, and preach the good news or communicate the good news to all people, to all creation. Acts chapter 1, verse 8, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So the question comes, are you engaged in allowing the Lord to work in your life and through your life to communicate the great news of Jesus Christ to people who don't know Him. Now, we don't force it on people, but our job is to communicate it to people. And so you might be saying, well, John, why, why worry about it? Why don't you just relax? And Why don't we just love Jesus ourselves and let, let everything just kind of take care of itself? Well, I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works, but somebody wrote this. Why worry? Well, there are only two things to worry about. Either you're well or you're sick. If you're well, there's nothing to worry about. But if you're sick, there are only two things to worry about. Either you get well or you'll die. If you get well, there's nothing to worry about. But if you die, there are only two things to worry about. Either you go to heaven or you'll go to hell. If you go to heaven, there's nothing to worry about. But if you go to hell, you'll be so busy shaking hands with friends, you won't have time to worry. Listen. We need to be concerned about people around us every day that don't know Jesus Christ. So the question is, are you going to go or are you going to sit? I hope you'll choose go. You think about that.